The weather situation at 5 a.m. Typhoon Ellen was centred near 20.0, 20 degrees north, 115.3, 115.3 degrees east, and is forecast to move northwest at about 12 kilometres per hour towards the South China coast. The area forecast for the next 24 hours, Hong Kong, East Force 627, light rain patches and rough seas. Now now, east to northeast, force 7 to 8 in north, force 9 to 10 in south, scattered squally showers with very rough to high seas. Swabui, east to northeast, force 7 to 8 in north, force 11 to 12 in south, frequent squally showers with high to very high seas. Waglan Island, wind northeast, force 7, visibility 13 kilometers, and the state of sea was rough. Wind east, southeast, force 7, visibility of 10 kilometers in rain. Cyclone warning issued at a quarter past five by the Royal Observatory. The strong wind signal number three is still hoisted. And once again at 5 a.m., Typhoon Ellen was centred near 20 degrees north, 115.3 degrees east, which is about 200 and 280 kilometres south-southeast of Hong Kong, and is forecast to move northwest at 12 kilometres per hour towards the South China coast. During the night, Ellen continued to move northwestwards closer to the South China coast, and it is still of typhoon strength with maximum sustained winds near the center in the region of 120 kilometers per hour. During the same period, the intense anticyclone over North China continued to spread southwards, bringing a surge of the northeast monsoon to the coastal waters. Strong winds are now being experienced offshore. The combined effect of the surge and Typhoon Ellen will cause local winds to become generally strong during the day. For further information, you are advised to listen to the radio. Cyclone warning issued at 12.15 p.m. by the RO. The strong wind signal number three is hoisted. This means that winds with mean speeds of 41 to 62 kilometers per hour are expected. At noon, Typhoon Ellen was sent at about 230 kilometers south southeast of Hong Kong and is forecast to move northwest at about 14 kilometers per hour towards the South China coast. Typhoon Ellen has maintained its intensity with maximum winds near the center of about 130 kilometers per hour. Winds locally are now generally strong and gusts of 94 kilometers per hour have been recorded at Waglan Island during the past hour. If Ellen continues on its present track, it will pass about 170 kilometers to the southwest of Hong Kong tomorrow morning. Winds over Hong Kong will remain strong and gusty and may occasionally reach gale force offshore. Some squally showers are expected, but Ellen is a comparatively dry typhoon and therefore the total rainfall in Hong Kong is unlikely to exceed 30 millimeters during the next 24 hours. At noon, the center of Typhoon Ellen was near 20.3 degrees north, 114.7 degrees east. The forecast this afternoon and tonight, strong gusty easterly winds, cloudy with some light rain patches at first. Winds will increase further and some scattered squally showers are expected later as Typhoon Ellen moves closer to the South China coast. At 2 p.m., Typhoon Ellen was sent at about 215 kilometers south-southeast of Hong Kong. Forecast to move northwest at about 12 kilometers per hour towards the South China coast. Typhoon Ellen continues to move northwestwards closer to the South China coast. Maximum sustained winds near the center of Ellen still in the region of 130 kilometers per hour. Winds over Hong Kong are now generally strong and gusts of 90 kilometers per hour have been recorded at Waglan Island and 115 kilometers per hour at Tate's Cairn respectively. Present indications are that local winds will increase further and may occasionally reach gale force offshore tonight. Rough seas are being experienced over the Hong Kong waters. A high tide of 2.2 metres is expected, or a high tide of 2.2 metres will occur around 9pm tonight. An additional 1.5 to 2.2 metres is expected as winds strengthen. 
Uh, the water levels are therefore expected to reach 3.7 metres at Quarry Bay and 4.4 metres at Tolo Harbour tonight. This may give rise to minor seawater flooding in low-lying areas. 2 p.m. The centre of Typhoon Allen near 20.4 degrees north, 114.6 degrees east. 香港以南約二百公里，亦即係約喺北緯二零點五度東經一一四點五度附近，向西北移動，時速十二公里，直吹華南海岸。喺下晝，颱風艾倫繼續向西北移動，較為接近華南海岸。艾倫中心附近嘅最高持續風力，每小時仍然係一百三十公里。而家本港普遍係吹強風。過去一個鐘頭，橫瀾島同大老山嘅最高陣風分別係每小時九十四公里同一百二十二公里。離岸地區風勢間中達到烈風程度，同埋有大浪報告。如果艾倫依照預測途徑移動，艾倫嘅中心會喺明早喺香港西南約一百五十公里附近掠過，並且繼續喺下晝掠過本港以西約一百九十公里嘅華南海岸。請立即採取各種預防強風措施。所有未使翻去避風塘而又唔能夠抵受到強風同大浪嘅漁船，就應該立即就近揾地方避風。香港係吹東風七至八級，後轉九至十級，初時有幾陣微雨，後有零散狂風驟雨，可有大致非常大浪。Cyclone or well, tropical cyclone warning. As you know, the strong wind signal number three has been hoisted. It remains hoisted, and at 7 p.m., Typhoon Ellen was centered about 180 kilometers south of Hong Kong. It's forecast to move northwest at 10 kilometers per hour towards western Guangdong. Ellen will continue this northwesterly track, and present indications are that it will pass about 110 kilometers southwest of Hong Kong tomorrow morning, and cross the coast about 130 kilometers west of Hong. Hong Kong later in the afternoon. Ellen is still an intense typhoon with maximum sustained winds near the center of about 130 kilometers per hour. Winds over Hong Kong have remained generally strong during the afternoon, with gusts of over 100 kilometers per hour recorded at various locations, including Tate's Cairn and Waglan Island. If Ellen moves as expected, winds locally will strengthen further and may reach gale force offshore and in exposed places overnight tonight. Unless Typhoon Ellen changes to a more northerly track. And comes closer to Hong Kong, there will not be general gales affecting the Hong Kong harbors and the urban areas, and therefore it will not be necessary to hoist the number eight signal. You are advised to not delay in taking all precautions against strong winds. If you're tracking at 7 p.m., the center of Typhoon Ellen was near 20.7 degrees north, 114. Point three degrees east. In on the uh, tropical cyclone, uh, da, da 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 da. The strong wind signal number three remains hoisted. Uh, at 9 p.m., Typhoon Ellen was centered about 170 kilometers south of Hong Kong. It's forecast to move northwest at about 10 kilometers per hour towards western Guangdong. During the past few hours, Typhoon Ellen has moved steadily northwestwards at about 10 kilometers per hour. One of the associated rain bands has already affected Hong Kong, but rain has been light over most parts of the territory. The estimated maximum winds near the center of Ellen are still about 130. Kilometers per hour, but there are signs that Ellen will begin to weaken. Now, if Ellen moves as forecast, it will pass about 110 kilometers southwest of Hong Kong tomorrow morning, and cross the coast about 50 kilometers west of Macau later in the afternoon. Unless Ellen moves more towards the north and comes closer to Hong Kong than expected, it'll not be necessary to hoist the number eight gale or storm signal. Locally, winds will remain strong, gusty, and will occasionally reach gale force offshore tonight and tomorrow. Therefore, general precautions against strong winds should continue to be taken. Staying tuned to commercial will keep you further. Updated on Ellen at 9 p.m. Trackers, the center of Typhoon Ellen was near 20.8 degrees north, 114.2 degrees east. 11:15. I repeat, 11:15 by the Royal Observatory. The strong wind signal number three is hoisted. This means that winds with mean speeds of 41 to 62 kilometers per hour are expected. At 11 p.m., Typhoon Ellen was centered about 160 kilometers south of Hong Kong and is forecast to move northwest at about 10 kilometers per hour towards western Guangdong. During the 
the past several hours, Typhoon Ellen has moved steadily northwestwards at about 10 kilometers per hour. One of the associated rain bands has already affected Hong Kong, but rain has been light over most parts of the territory. The maximum winds near the center of Ellen are still about 130 kilometers per hour. If Ellen moves as forecast, it will pass about 110 kilometers southwest of Hong Kong tomorrow morning and cross the coast at about 50 kilometers west of Macau later in the afternoon. Unless Ellen moves more towards the north and comes closer to Hong Kong than expected, it will not be necessary to hoist the number 8 gale or storm signal. Locally, winds will remain strong, gusty, and will occasionally reach gale force offshore tonight and tomorrow. Therefore, generally, precautions and general precautions against strong winds should continue to be taken. Stay tuned to this channel, Commercial Radio 1044, on the AM dial. Uh, for further weather broadcasts. And at 11 p.m., a closer look here, at 11 p.m., the center of Typhoon Ellen was near 20.9 degrees north, 114.1 degrees east. That position reading once again taken at 11 p.m., center of Typhoon Ellen was near 20.9 degrees north, 114.1 degrees east.